So about 10 or 15 years ago, my grandmother, who was a big reader back in the day, she's still a big reader now, but she used to collect all kinds of books, tons and tons of books. And she was a huge fan of Stephen King books back in the 70s and 80s. She doesn't read them now because she doesn't like horror stuff or scary stuff anymore. And with that said, 10 or 15 years ago, she decided to, to give me her old Stephen King books, at least the ones she still had left. And I believe all six of these are, are actually all original pressings of their respective books. Um, I'm not sure which years these all came out, but I think they're all number one, you know, uh, the first pressing versions of each book. Those of you who are avid Stephen King fans in the comments below, let me know. There's five books, not six. I'm sorry. But let me know in the comments below if you own any, any of these books and are these first editions. I believe they all are. I believe all of them are. But first and foremost, let's start with Stephen King's The Dead Zone. Look at that. Very cool cover. Very cool cover. Simple, to the point. Still has the sleeve on it. Jenny, Josephine Tomato. January 19, 1980 is when she got this. The book is actually, the book itself is actually beige colored. That's very weird, isn't it? Very strange. Very, very strange. Crazy Stephen King on the back. <laughs> very, very cool stuff. We put this back in the sleeve and we will move on to the next book in line, which is the first pressing of Pet Cemetery. Still with the sleeve, obviously a bit damaged over the years, but crazy cool to own this nonetheless. She had this in 1984, it looks like. And... She paid $10.98 for it, I think. She wrote that down for some reason. But 1984, very cool stuff. Let's see what the actual book looks like. The actual book is black, and it's got like a embossed logo or hand uh, signature of Stephen King. You can kind of feel it. It's, it's embossed. There's the back, front, and the inside of the sleeve. Obviously, it's pretty damaged at this point, so i got to be careful because I don't want the sleeve to fall apart. But if it does... I will tape it back together. I will tape it back together. But very cool to own this. They've obviously retroactively used this cover for a lot of, uh, or at least the artwork, they have homaged the artwork a lot for newer releases of the film. Not exactly this, but very much homage now to this with a new, uh, I think the 4K release had this artwork and so on and so forth. But very cool. Very happy to own that. Next, we have Stephen King's Firestarter. Very, very cool. Look at that cover. Look how weird that is. There's the back, same artwork, the spine, inside of that sleeve, Stephen King on the back. Again, bushy face Stephen King. My grandmother signed this as December 10th, 1980 inside. Very cool. And the actual book seems to be an all black book. All black, the fire starter in red on the side, black on the back. Very nice. Very, very cool. And next we have The Shining by Stephen King. Look at that. That's got to be the first pressing or the first release, I should say, the first edition. Look how trippy that is, man. That is so gnarly. Look at that artwork. So bizarre. Uh, June 1977, I think, is what she has written right there. So 77-ish, I think, which I guess makes sense with the date that the first film came out in 1980. There's Stephen King on the back. Looks like he's shaved finally there. Really cool stuff. The actual book with the, the sleeve discarded is black. It has the shining and green on the, on the spine. And nothing on the back. And there we go. There we go. And last but not least, in the Stephen King collection, we have The Stand. I believe a first edition version again. The sleeve's in pretty bad shape. But it's still cool. I'm going to have to tape this together with clear tape eventually. But there it is. Very trippy cover art. Huge book. Very small text too. So it seems like it's going to be a pretty long read. I have not read this before. There's the inside of the sleeve. The other inside of the sleeve with Shaven King. And I don't see my grandma having written anything on this one. I don't think she wrote in this one. So I'm not sure what year she got this. But it must be a long time ago, obviously. Here is the book. 
like a yellow beige color with the stand on the side and the back. Matter of fact, in real time, it looks like the sleeve finally just came apart in my hand. So I have to tuck tape that up later. But for now, I'll put it back together the best I can. And I will do that at a later time. And there you have it, folks. There are my five original print or first edition Stephen King books that I have, which I own because my grandma decided to give them to me years ago. And I still own them today and always will because they're very cool. With that said, thanks for watching. Stay spooky. And I will see you guys next time. Mm-hmm.